What's up guys, by watching today's tutorial you are going to get a complete understanding on how to customize your footer on Shopify. So to actually get started with this, head over to your Shopify store. If you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link for a free trial down below. Either way, once you are right here, make sure to click on customize. Now basically same as the header and the announcement bar, the footer is actually a default element in the site, meaning that wherever you are going to go on your site, this is always is going to show up on the home page on the product page basically everywhere now to actually customize this we can either add new sections however on the footer we are pretty limited with this so we can just either use a custom liquid section which basically is custom code or we can also add an email sign up section which actually already has been added by default However, we can actually customize this by adding blocks onto a footer. And this is where you can basically put in whatever you want. However, there are some default guidelines which you will definitely have to do. First off, I would recommend you to add this menu item. Like this, you are going to actually have all of the menu items from your footer menu displayed. But why is this important? Well, first of all, if you haven't set up your legal pages yet, this is when you actually will need to do it. So to do this, head over to actually the dashboard, click on the settings and then right here, click on policies right here. And there you are going to see all of your written policies. Now you can actually generate this with the Shopify default templates. You will just have to actually go over this and then insert your actual data. Now, once you have set this up right here, we will actually have to add these links onto our footer menu. Now we will have to do this because this is actually required by law so to do this head over to your online store settings click on navigation then click on a footer right here and then just click on add menu item click on a search or paste link click on pages basically policies right here and then select each of the different pages and simply add them and now that we have added these, we will have to head back to our online store settings, click on customize. And now all of the items which are mandatory to show by law are going to show right here. We can actually also change the heading to legal links, for example. And of course, we can then actually also fully customize our footer by simply just, for example, adding another block. Let me demonstrate to this. I'm, for example, going to add a brand information block. And now right here, there this is then actually going to show our social media icons, our brand information, which we can actually set right here in the theme settings and so on. Let's actually delete this. You can then actually also add other blocks like a simple text block. And you can of course then also add images onto this. If you do want to, you are then going to have the option to change the image width, image alignment and so on. So I don't want to waste your time, but essentially you can fully customize your footer to your likings. However, I would actually recommend you to just keep it simple, add your normal legal links. Maybe you can then actually also add other links, uh, redirecting your customers to the newest collection, for example. However, in my honest opinion, I think when it comes to the footer, you should keep it simple and you shouldn't really overcomplicate it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.